Hello, friends, and welcome to another more or less exciting episode of the Will Wisdom Interviews. I'm your host, Will Wisdom. These are the Will Wisdom Interviews you're watching, and that's awesome. This video is is called the the what is it called? I haven't made a title for it yet, but it's going to be something like the only thing I learned in college by Will Wisdom. Um, so today I'm going to talk about the only thing I learned in college. This is a bit of an exaggeration, but you'll see what I mean as the video progresses deeper and deeper into the depths of the earth. So here I was in college, my freshman year at Boston University, taking the core curriculum uh, humanities course, which is like a great books course where you read some famous slash important books and uh, write essays about them. So it's reading and writing. Um, I wrote this about this experience. Plato's Republic captivated me as for the first time I saw before me in dialogue format the spirit of thought that had been wandering around my brain, in the words of Douglas Adams, looking for something to connect with. Not so with the Odyssey. To me, it seemed bland and boring. As a matter of principle, since college is important, I decided to take advantage of the special tutoring program that BU offered for its core curriculum students. And I'm glad I did. At my first session, my mind was blown wide open when I was told that the whole Odyssey by Homer is an allegory of our lives. College, for example, is an Odyssey, said my tutor. As I soaked in the truth like a stunned sponge, mouth agape. Amidst classes in chemistry, physics, biology, languages, etc., this was the first thing I had really learned in college, a true pearl of wisdom. Everything else I learned, I learned outside of class, if you will. All right. So this is when I would put my glasses on, if I had any glasses to wear. I'm going to read the first paragraph of The Odyssey. I still have my book that I got at Boston University back in the day. Sing to me of the man, muse the man of twists and turns, driven time and again off course, once he had plundered the hallowed heights of Troy. Many cities of men he saw and learned their minds, many pains he suffered, heartsick on the open sea, fighting to save his life and bring his comrades home. But he could not save them from disaster, hard as he strove. The recklessness of their, of their own ways destroyed them all, the blind fools. They devoured the cattle of the sun, and the sun god blotted out the day of their return. Launch out on his story, muse, daughter of Zeus. Start from where you will. Sing for our time, too. So, let's see. Where are we? Okay. So this is when I would take my glasses off if I had put them on in the first place. Now, 
I'd like to talk about that line, sing for, sing for our time too. This line changes everything, taking a square and making it a cube, giving it volume. So as my tutor was explaining to me, it's right there in the first, to, to finish off the first paragraph of the entire book, sing for our time too. In other words, sing, sing, sing our story too as we read about Odysseus's story. Um, all right. So, and also, I'd also like to talk about that the, the description of Odysseus as the man of twists and turns. So, does it mean his journey was convoluted? Or does it mean that his character was wily and um, complex, conflicted, if you will? Um, I would like to propose that there is a double meaning going on here and that it means both. Um, in this regard, I wrote this down. Where we are on the outside does not always reflect where we are on the inside. Nevertheless, where we are on the inside can lead to where we go on the outside. But God has a plan for us. As uh, Swedish House Mafia says, don't you worry, don't you worry, child. See, heaven has a plan for you. Or as the quote goes, God writes straight with crooked lines. Or in the words of St. Paul, all things work for good for those who love God. So here I am at 40 years old, and I still remember that moment that my tutor, whose name I don't know, completely obliterated my mind in about a split second and changed my life forever. If college was an odyssey, my life since then has been ever more so. Okay, thank you for watching the Will Wisdom interviews. I'm your host, Will Wisdom. This has been a production of the Will Wisdom interviews. Tomorrow begins today. You can send your tuition checks to my address or you can just leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.